Good evening, audience. I am very delighted to present my current video presentation, which it can be considered as a continuation for the previous presentation. In the previous presentation, we focused on a very important topic, how to write a good abstract. However, there is something I can tell you, it is much more important than the abstract, which it is title. When you look at the, any paper, the first thing that attracts you is title. Title is like a main gate in any house, building, office. When you go to any office, the first thing that get a glance on it is the gate. If the gate is rusty, the area around gate is not clean. In that case, you will not have a good impression on that house, building, office, or whatever. However, if the building gate is clean, coating color is nice, has a art pick, figures on it, in that case, it will be impressive. Exactly this is same for the research article. When you write a good, short, concise title, it will be impressive for reader. However, if you just write any title very long or have a spelling or grammatical mistake, or the title is too long, have repetitive words, any kind of this issue, it will be a disaster for you. The disaster begins when you submit your paper to any journal, the editor may be rejected. Imagine some paper have been rejected only 10 minutes after submission. Imagine only 10 minutes. So it means the editor, when it says you see the title is not good, the editor immediately rejected the paper. Or some people that uh, sent to it a reviewer, reviewer didn't uh, give a good impression because of the title. So in that case, we want to focus on very quick few tips, how to write a good title. First of all, first of all, you should make sure that you don't use redundant words. For example, don't write a study on blank or investigation in something. Try to avoid this kind of word as much as possible. Second tip is you have to make a very good match between title and abstract. How? Let me show you one example, which is my previous research paper. I just show you as an example. Imagine somebody doesn't have any background of, on my field, advanced material ceramic. When is look at the title, tougher and harder, zirconia, tapinate, alumina, composite through in situ microstructure formation of LMA. This is lanthanium magnesium hexaluminate. The short abbreviation of it is LMA. So the person doesn't have any background on material engineering. And they didn't read my paper previously. Now he want to get some information about my paper. When it reads the title, what he get? Tougher and harder ZTA composite. The first part of the title tells the people the ZTA material. There is an advanced ceramic material called ZTA. Tougher and harder means higher hardness and higher fracture toughness. How? Through in situ microstructure formation of LMA. We created LMA in situ 
What does that mean? In situ means treated naturally during sintering through reaction between many chemicals or substances. What's happened? Change in my microstructure. So through this operation, we got higher fracture toughness and hardness of ZTA. So any people, when it's read my title, he got a very good information about that. But how this happened? In the second point, if you remember, we focused that the title should exactly match with the abstract. Let us see. In the previous video, I explained how to write a good abstract. I repeat it very quickly. First sentence is your introduction or background. Later, you have problem statement. After that, you propose a way how to solve this problem. Later, in another sentence, you explain the methodology, how to get it. After that, you highlight the most important result. Then you will propose a, or explain the conclusion. And after that, you propose recommendation for the future work. Let us see. In my work, the first one is background about ZTA. And here the problem statement required me of attainment hard and simultaneously tough material. So the problem, we cannot get the high hardness and meantime fracture toughness of material in the same time. But in my solution, we got tougher and harder. So you can find the work here. Later, to accomplish this target, we follow the strategy. What is the strategy? Design of novel microstructure. So the microstructure you can find here. After that, we explain the methodology. The methodology, how in situ formation, you can find here, in situ formation of this LMA material. And after that, uh, we explain about uh, the outcome, fracture toughness and hardness. So it reflected here. And we highlighted some uh, value. It is not necessary to reflect it here. And finally, we have the conclusion. If anybody read abstract thoroughly and compare it with the title, he can conclude that I uh, found that title exactly from the abstract. So this is the one of the most successful way to write a short, meantime, concise, and very effective title. If you write the abstract correctly, I'm very sure you can write a very uh, attractive title. It will be searchable by other people. Another point is very important to make sure that the title is free from mistake. Of course, shorter the title is more expected to be free from mistake, either grammatical, scientific, or even spelling. Later on, make as short as possible because in some journal, even uh, they have limitation for title, not even for abstract. For example, they specify maximum title, only 20 words. And this uh, word like in, like of, they are considered two separate words. So it is very important you try to find a way to make the title as short as possible. Another important way how to write a concise and short title keyword. This keyword, we got it from the abstract. For example, ZTA is the material. Microstructure design has microstructure. In situ formation, in situ formation, LMA, LMA. Elongated grain is not in the title, but we can find it where in the uh, abstract. Elongated uh, grain of LMA. So keyword is very important. Why that one is important? Because it will be easily searchable by researcher. 
And uh, we should make sure the words here very related to the keyword. Because in my case, my main subject material ZTA. So the people when they search, they should find ZTA. If they write ZTA in the search, they can find my paper. Main goal, increase hardness and toughness. I use it tougher and harder. So if people search for hardness, they can find my paper. If they search for toughness, also they can find my paper. And methodology here is in situ formation. So anybody search in situ, he can find my paper. So choose the word, exactly represent your word, and meantime, easily searchable. How you can find that? Just go to Google Scholar and test any word. Try how many times you can get or how many search items you can get from this particular word. Just try. And finally, avoid some overestimation word like investigation or innovation or novel. Because of course, when you submit your paper to any high impact factor journal, it should have some novelty, even very simple. So no need in the title you write novel, for example, like me, novel method of in situ microstructural design, formation of elongated hexaluminate to gain tougher and harder zirconia alumina, toughened alumina. This was my first, as I remember, my first proposal to write the title. So no need to use this kind of word like innovation, cutting edge, novel. Either you have something very new in theory or in experimental data, something completely new and nobody has any kind of experiment or any knowledge about that. Otherwise it makes the title longer and uh, this kind of work are not consider it or are not recommended. Thank you very much for your listening. I hope it will be a useful for you. I will be very thankful for your feedback through you, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.